Hey, how's it going everyone? WTS Sexy Headphones here. Happy Mondays to you guys! So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why it exactly is that I'm here today and not where I said it was supposed to be and I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm here and why I'm gonna be here for the rest of the holidays and not up in Illinois but we'll save that for story time because right now I got something so much more amazing and so much more awesome to tell you guys. So of course as a lot of you have known all of us were completely devastated and broken a little while back when GSC Game World uh, ended up going under and then of course the completion of Stalker 2 was not going to see the light of day and we all just died a little inside because everyone loves Stalker and we wanted a Stalker too. But happy days are upon us for the Christmas season because GSC Game World has announced that they are back in business. Eee! I don't even know what else to say to that. Well, I mean, I'm going to give you all the information, but just let that, just let that sink in, guys. Just let it sink in. GSC Game World is back. They're rising from the grave and they are hopefully going to smack us in the face with some awesomeness. But here's a little bit of what is going down because I read this article just today, so I do apologize if my information is a little bit all over the place and not quite well structured because I'm fucking excited. I'm gonna throw this all guys at, or all at you guys, and I will post the article down below so you guys can read the whole thing in a much more structured format, but I'm gonna touch a little bit of base on some things. So of course, naturally, in this uh, interview, they were talking about Stalker 2, and they were actually bringing up some of the reasons why that they didn't think Stalker could see the light of day quite yet, and the issues that they were having with it. So besides having some financial issues, they were also mentioning the fact that they didn't quite think that they had enough people to complete it in a timely manner, and they mentioned something about by the time that they would have had the game done, it probably would have been considered a little bit more out of date at that time. So they wanted Stalker 2 to have a really ob obviously a high level of quality to it, uh, to keep up with all the amazing games and details and great stuff that has been coming out today, and they didn't think that with the team that they had, as far as I understand, I don't think that they thought... Um, that they had enough people to quite complete it in the way that they actually wanted it to and they wanted Stalker to, as I'm sure we of course all do, to have like this amazing quality to it. And then they also mentioned that they considered Clear Sky as well as Call of Pripyat kind of more add-ons to Stalker Shadow Chernobyl and that they were kind of based off of that game for the most part, where Stalker 2 they actually wanted it to be a lot different and they wanted to do so much more with it. So they kind of really had these awesome, great uh, aspirations for it and I guess with kind of from what I understand with the amount of people they had and resources they just wouldn't make it happen or they wouldn't be able to make it happen how they wanted it to and then so those are one another reason that they kind of shut that project on down which I do I do kind of in a sense like that they did that I mean not the fact that it, they shut it down because for love of God I would love it if Stalker 2 came out no matter how it came out but I do have to admire the fact that they are striving to have this great quality to it, and they're striving to make this game amazing and current with everything that's out, and that they didn't want to release something that they wouldn't be happy with, and potentially what we wouldn't be happy with. I mean, honestly, quite frankly, I feel like all of us would be happy no matter what if they released a Stalker 2 game, but I do love the admire the fact and love the fact that they wanted it to be something truly amazing, and they have this great, uh, this great idea for it, and since they couldn't quite accomplish it, they all have shut it down, and obviously, you know, Again, there's a lot more reasons, but that is kind of the main thing that they mentioned with Stalker 2. Again, read it all below. They'll say it in a lot more cleaned up form than I can. I just read everything a couple times today, and I'm just, I'm thrilled. So another interesting thing that they talked about, and I was going to bring this up in last Monday's vlog, but forgot about it. So let's talk about West Games. And I love it because uh, Mr. Valentine, I'm sorry, I'm not going to try and pronounce the last name because I'm going to butcher it. I'm going to feel awful. So spokesperson Mr. Valentine, he actually addressed that too, and I thought that was amazing because the whole West Games aerial game or whatever took everything by storm. Everyone was confused on what was going on. There's a huge, there's a huge, I don't even know what to call it going on about that. And I love the fact that they talked about that and addressed it because uh, not only, you know, did we see them talk about aerial and it was super sketchy and they were claiming to be from the original Stalker team, but recently, about a week or two ago, they announced a, uh, oh God, I forgot what it was called. Let me see. I have it up somewhere. Uh, they announced something called Stalker Apocalypse. So they apparently aren't even talking about Ariel anymore. They're announcing something that they're apparently coming back and working on something called Stalker Apocalypse and trying to do funding. From what I understand with that, I didn't read too much quite into it because we're all a little bit sketchy on that. 
And and then bam, GSC Game World is back, and they actually address that, which I think is awesome because all of us Stalker fans were very unsure of what to think about this West Games, and they seem super sketchy, especially because they kind of just disappeared for a bunch of months after their Kickstarter went under, and then they did their own crowdfunding on their website, and then they just went silent for months. So they, uh, spokesperson Mr. Valentine, let me say, I wrote it on down here, uh, he said that it was interesting to read because they were promoting themselves as being part of the Stalker team, but as he said, it was not true, uh, and they did say that they would no doubt win legal action against them, but they chose not to do so. I mean, I imagine if they start more of a uproar, if they really start messing up and trying to screw things up, they probably will. But all in all, he said that he doesn't know what they were thinking because they were claiming to be part of the stalker team. Um, and from what I understand, he said that that was not true and that they were not part of it. And he's not really understanding exactly what they're trying to do and what they're trying to pull. So I thought that was awesome to hear that because a lot of us have been you know, we're, we're all hopeful stalker fans. We all want things to be amazing and great, and we want as many stalker-like things as possible because there's not enough of it in the world. But unfortunately, a lot of people are kind of skeptical on what they're doing, and we're not really sure what to think, and especially after they just kind of had that dodgy Kickstarter and all that stuff, like it was, it was a mess. So they did address that as well, which I thought was absolutely awesome. Now the unfortunate thing, moving on from West Games, now that we kind of got some of that cleared up, is that, well, I mean, I get cool thing is they announced a game that they are already planning on working on, but they didn't say that it was Stalker 2, so we're not sure whether they're going to continue Stalker 2 or not. I would, I honestly, I could only imagine that they would. I mean, they sounded very passionate about it. I mean, everyone who loves Stalker is super passionate about it. Everyone who's worked on it, no doubt, is really passionate about it. So I can't imagine that they wouldn't continue it, you know? And they, from what I understand, they still have everything uh, of it, like everything that they worked on and started on. They still have the engine and everything. So I can't imagine that they wouldn't. But they did announce an unknown game. They didn't say what it was, and they didn't mention if they were going to continue Stalker or not, unfortunately. But honestly, I can't see how they would not continue Stalker. I just, I absolutely 100% could not see how they wouldn't continue it. So I honestly think this is super fucking good news because in my mind, I just, like, if they're, if they're back up and running and if they think that they got the team, uh, and for what they did say in the interview, they think they have everyone that they need, I don't know how they could not continue that project. I mean, that's what everyone is looking for. That's what everyone wants for them. I couldn't imagine them just not doing anything with it. So I'm super excited because I am taking this, and again, not announced, but I am taking this as a surefire, like, holy shit, stalker to totally is going to happen at some point in time. So I'm hoping so, and again, I don't know if the unofficial game, not quite a sort of announced, whatever, I don't know if that is what they're going, it's going to be, or if it's going to be something else. Um, but hopefully we hear something about Stalker 2. Again, this is all extremely recent, so hopefully we get some more awesome news on that. Anyway, that is all I wanted to tell you guys about that. That is my little briefing of it. And again, read the whole article down below where you got the neat interview of them talking about, you know, what happened to the company and with Stalker. And then again, you know, what was going on or what, you know, they understood with West Games. And it's just, it was an, it was an amazing thing to wake up and read today, let me tell you guys. So hopefully this makes your Monday. <laughs> okay, you guys, as promised for story time, I'll tell you exactly why I'm still here and why I'm going to be here through the holidays. So this is essentially what happened. Uh... While me and my company were up in Flagstaff, we went to go see some of the sites on Friday, and uh, we were waiting to turn onto the highway to head on back after seeing some kind of canyons of some sorts, and a Dodge truck decided to ram into the back of my Jeep going 50 to 60 miles per hour and knock us off the road and into a tree. Um, me and my passengers spent not quite the night at the hospital, but we spent, I guess, a good chunk of time there. I didn't get to get back. We all didn't get to get back home until the next day. Um... We're all doing okay, though. We're all fine. We obviously, well, I got obviously released, as you can see, but they got released as well. Um, my passenger, John, he's doing fine. He just has some very minor soreness to him. Um, my passenger, Derek, who was sitting in the back, he got some glass shards stuck in the back of his head that he had to get taken out, as well as uh, some muscle bruising in his back. And as for myself, I have some minor kidney damage, as well as I have a broken bone in my back somewhere. I don't exactly remember everything that's called, but it's a, it's a lumbard and, like, a number seven 
I don't know, to be honest. I got patches and drugs for it, but, but I have a broken bone somewhere in my back now that I have to get checked up on. But other than that, we're all doing fine. We got released. We got drugs. We're all just having a randy time. And on the bright side, I get to keep my company for a little while longer because, well, we're all a bunch of injured bastards and they're not going anywhere driving anytime soon. So I get to keep them for a little bit extra time, but thankfully we are all doing okay. Um, we're all just sore and I move around like a fucking cripple, which is terrible. Like everything I do has to be slow or I cringe. Just like putting on pants. On the bright side, I know how to laugh at myself, which I look like an idiot though too, because I'll slowly be putting pants on and then I'll feel pain in my back and then I laugh about it because I just look so fucking retarded because the most simple tasks have suddenly become difficult. But on the bright side, at least I'm laughing it off, so... <laughs> ah, it's good to be weird sometimes, but... So unfortunately, though, I don't think my Jeep quite made it out, and I'm super bummed about that because that is the only car I've had since I was 16. I've had the exact same car as my one and only, and I loved it dearly, and that poor bastard is motherfucking totaled, and I'm super bummed about that because I love that car. I loved it so much. I put so much effort into it, and I kept it clean, and I repaired so many things, and I'm so bummed because my car is, like, completely destroyed. But, I mean, other than that, though, on the bright side, we're all okay and we're doing well, but unfortunately, due to that, though, my car is gone and my mom doesn't want me on a plane flying up to Illinois anymore, so I'm kind of stuck down here. So, that is what happened. That's why I'm here. Now you guys know. Hopefully, I'll try and get some videos out to you guys, uh, because, well, now I have time. <laughs> I mean, I still have my company over, so I'm going to spend most of my time with them, but I'll try and see if I can actually slip away and do some recordings for you guys, since now I got time and I'm here for the holidays, so, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting, it's been an interesting week, guys, but on the bright side, good Christmas news with GSC Game World, so that's, that bright in my day, that's awesome, so. That's what's going on, and of course I'll show you guys pictures because everyone, everyone, everyone keeps asking, oh my god, did you take pictures? So yes, I ended up getting pictures from the tow truck people who, because I didn't take pictures at the scene because I wasn't quite thinking about it at the time, um, but they had some, and I, when I had to pick up the stuff that was left in my car after the crash in a junkyard that it was taken to or wherever, uh, I took some photos. So I'll show you guys that, and you guys can, you know, mourn the loss of my baby along with me, so... Anyway, that's what's going on, and yeah, now you guys know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to head on out and get this uploaded to you guys so you have some awesome GSC Game World news. And then, uh, again, I'll try and get some videos out to you guys, and hopefully I'll see you more later this week. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I at least have Half-Life to render. I think I need some to do some stock recordings, so I'll try and... I'll try and get some stalker recordings and see if I can slip away and do that for you guys. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a happy rest of the Mondays and the week if I don't see you then, and I'll probably see you guys next Monday. <laughs> Bye. Feel my power.